Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I figured I would start a vlog because I wish I would have this morning earlier. It's been a very productive, busy morning and it's been kind of a fun day. I should have turned off the TV before, before I started this. But um, I thought, you know what? It's not too late. Let's just start it now. I just got some fun packages at the door that we're opening right now. You can hear Leela digging in the box. She's like having the time of her life. You can hear her saying box, box, box. But it's for the next pop-up that I'm gonna be a part of. I'm not teaching it physically, but I'm gonna like be a part of it. <laughs> That's my friend Kenzie. She just walked by. I just like yelled out the window to her. They're going down to the park right now. So I think Leela and I are gonna go down there too. The house, look at all these boxes and just chaos behind me. We'll figure that out during nap time and kind of clean it up. But I'm gonna show you guys what we just got in the mail. This huge box of all of them being press on nails are for the next pop-up that I'm gonna be a part of. I'm wearing them right now. I love, I love Olive and June press on nails. These are them right now and they last. Honestly, I can get over a week out of them. I usually can get close to two weeks, like 10 days or longer. This is Leela's table. We just ordered her a table. Um, so we need to set that up when Joey gets off work. Oh my goodness, it's just chaos in here. <laughs> but this morning I was able to get a workout in at 8.15. I've been like on a roll. Yesterday morning I worked out at 8.15 at Shred 4.15. And then today again, and I'm signed up for Wednesday and Thursday at Shred 415, and I've just been using ClassPass. I'll link it below. ClassPass has been like a game changer for me, and I love it. Basically, you can change up your workout and go to any place, but I've just been loving Shred 415 at the moment, and so I've just been going there. But they have like Pure Bar, Bar 3, um, different cycling studios, pretty much any studios local to you, you can go there, and it's like a, a points system or like a, I don't know. You have you have like a number of tokens or points that you can use each month depending on the package that you buy. And right now I'm doing like a lower package, but I think I'm going to up it and go more often. But it's kind of a cheaper way to take classes, which I'm kind of for and against because I do think that fitness already, they, you don't like make a ton of money in the fitness industry. But also, you know, sometimes we don't have $25 to pay for a drop-in class. So ClassPass is really good. I think I pay, I'm on the 30 a month, $30 a month, and I can take, um, I get, I think 13 credits a month for $30. And I can usually take like four classes with that 13 credits, which I think is pretty good. Um, and then I think I'm gonna up it soon to 50 a month or 60 a month so I can get like triple the amount of classes. Okay, we're gonna go down to the park. Do you wanna go to the park? <laughs> Here's a little bump update too. I am 21 weeks and like two days today. There's the bump update. Okay. <laughs> so my outfit is Lululemon Align on the bottom. And then I have, which I love for the bump because they're just so stretchy. I think I usually get four in aligns. I like them a little bit more compressed, but my maternity ones are size six. This top is from Lululemon and I think it's cute. It's like the asymmetrical tank or whatever. So I'll link all that below. And then I'm just throwing on the scuba. I kind of have steered clear of these scubas because I like covering my butt when I'm pregnant. <laughs> just feel like that's the first thing to grow. I don't know. I was looking at pictures of myself when I was pregnant last time and I was like, why did I feel like I was so quote unquote, like so much bigger? I like looked cute. So I just don't feel like myself. But when I look back, I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, why was I, why was I feeling that way? Because I looked fine, you know? And then I'm going to wear my hokas on her walk and Leela should get out of her pajamas but I'm just gonna leave her in her onesie because it's still pretty cold outside and her onesie is like a fleece onesie and when she goes down the slide if she's wearing like a shirt and, and bottoms her shirt slides up and she gets like a rash on her belly so I'm just gonna leave her in her onesie you like your balloon oh 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 and then I was gonna show you guys these these are so cute. These are from Etsy and I'll link them below because I think now you can link things from Etsy and they're like handmade. I just think that they're so cute. They're little covers. You can get them for, I think any size headphone. Um, you just have to look up your headphone model or whatever. And when you buy it, they ask what your headphone model is. So obviously mine are the Apple headphones. Then I'm gonna bring some nails for my friend. Let's just walk by. Yes, in your jam. 
slowly cleaning up the mess I consolidated both big boxes into one and then we threw away all the little boxes or recycled them I should say that they came with Leela's playing with these so I haven't gotten rid of these yet these are all going out at the next pop-up there's some really cute ones like these are kind of a fun little gift to give at the pop-up I'm like really excited about this So it's two. Leila has so much energy. So I kept her up a little past her like nap time. But I think we're gonna have trouble with her going to bed today. Um, and yes, I put my PJs back on. So I think I've showed you guys this before, but this is Leila's crib. We love it. It's from Nestig. So cute. From Nestig. And um, then her dresser is also right here from Nestig, and it's so cute. We don't really use the top right now. So it's just got stuff sitting on it, but we will with our next baby, but I just think that's really cute. And then this, I'm gonna turn it off for her nap, but this is from Restoration Hardware's Outlet Mall, and it was like uh, $27, I don't know, I think it's really cute. We need to actually hang it up, it's hung up with a tack right now. Oops, it didn't turn off. Okay, I'm back in my bed and in my pajamas, and it's 2.45. Leela just went down for her nap, which is so incredibly late. She usually goes down at 1.30 for her nap, but I feel like her whole nap schedule has just been getting thrown off lately, and I'm not sure why, but it just keeps getting later and later. So the nice thing is, as soon as I put her down for her nap, she was out, like she wanted to go to bed. But now that means I have a second to finally get some work done because I've not all morning. So I'm gonna do some work and a little bit of homework. Hopefully I can get a lot done and be productive because I'm feeling very exhausted. Yesterday I worked out at 8.15 like I was telling you guys and then Leela and I went on a three mile walk. Not on, intentionally, we just like, we're gonna go try a new trail and it ended up being way longer than I thought it was gonna be which was fine, it, it was like really enjoyable. It felt so nice outside yesterday and I was planning on going on another long walk today. Maybe not that long, but we walked down to the park earlier and played for a little bit. Being pregnant, all of that is just so exhausting. So I'm very tempted to take a nap right now, which I might, but I'm gonna pull out my work and just make sure there's no like time pressing emails. Like I really haven't even checked my email yet. There. Well, you can't tell in this because of, but I, I think in the video I just posted, I just posted a vlog. Hi Alexis, it is currently, it's basically 10 o'clock right now. Yes, our next house is being built. They haven't even broken ground on it yet. Um, so hopefully they do that soon because I have a feeling that it might get pushed back because they haven't even broken ground yet and it's supposed to be done end of May. And then we're going to move into it end of June. Um, well, that's the plan because I'm due at the beginning of June. Good morning. It is the next day. And I just stopped vlogging last night because I usually do when Joey gets off work. And then also my camera died. So we got Leela a new chair set that we set up and a table. And she's been coloring at it since she woke up. And then I made her some pancakes. I'm going to go get those ready for her. Um, I'm just gonna add a little butter so that they're a little softer for her because that's how she'll eat them and plus they'll have a little fat on them. This is so cute. Bye bye. What are you coloring? Bye bye. <laughs> this is the table. I'll link it. This is from Amazon. It was pretty reasonably priced too. I feel like so cute. It's got adjustable legs on it so it's on the lowest setting for her. So you can raise it if you need to but <laughs> there's a lot. I just think it's really cute and it's like washable, easy washable and stuff like that. So 
definitely good. Oh, and then we also got her this chair from Amazon. I'll link that too. Um, it's like fuzzy, like almost like a fuzzy soft material, but it's a little chair that she likes to sit in and it's kind of fun for her. Really cute. So I'll link both of those. That was literally the moment I walked down here. The first thing she did was run over to this table to color. She's been there since. <laughs> These are just pancakes from Trader Joe's, the like little frozen pancakes. And um, if you heat them up in the microwave, they're like rubbery, but if you heat them up on a pan, they're a little bit softer. Some already washed blueberries. Do that. And a banana. Okay. Here's her little breakfast, blueberries, bananas, and waffle, or, and pancakes. There she is, yummy. Okay, you ready to eat? No, no, no. No, you're not ready to eat. Here's the little bump update. I'm eating some pomegranate seeds. 21 and a half weeks pregnant, it's Wednesday today. Um, and I'm about to head out to a workout class. I have a little top to throw over the top, but Lululemon, DIY leggings. I'm gonna finish these pomegranates. Leela's still playing. She doesn't want to eat her breakfast, but she will soon. I'm mad at myself for not warming up the car earlier because I have to leave and I have to be there soon. Hold on. Whew. I'm gonna be late. I was late yesterday. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over the air. But I was late yesterday, and um, I'm gonna be late again today, and I feel so bad when I'm late. Also, I brought myself a little chai, like pick me up from home. This is just the Oregon chai mix, like half and half. Oregon chai mix, and then just oat milk with a little bit of creamer, and it's like an oat creamer. And when I'm pregnant, I am not allergic to milk at all. Like I can drink milk, no problem, but I just prefer the taste of oat milk for whatever reason I think oat milk just tastes so good it's like creamy um, a little sweeter I don't know I just I've never liked milk the taste of milk it's kind of weird that this workout place is at an outlet mall and I have to walk to it it's like not easy to get to made it out of class and I'm gonna head home I left a little early because Joey has to start work I have a gift card to I think it's called next level burger in Denver or it's just outside of Denver and basically it's an all vegan burger joint so no real meat which doesn't sound super appealing to me because I love I love like burger burgers but I was looking at their menu which I was super lucky they like gifted me $150 so I'm excited to try it and I've heard that their burgers are amazing but I was looking at their menu and I saw this organic smoothie on there that looked so good. So I think Leela and I are gonna drive up and go get one, it, depending on what time they open. I think, because I have to babysit our neighbor's kids around like 11.15, so I have to be home, and it takes like 35 minutes to get there. It's pretty far, but like, when you're a stay-at-home mom, what do I have better to do, you know? Want some eggies? Mama's gonna make herself some eggies. Okay, this is three eggs. I'm sure Leela will have a couple bites, and then she's just <laughs> ow, ow. playing with magnets on the fridge. And I'm gonna eat right here on the ground. It's kind of weird, but I added like the teeniest couple drops of syrup. For some reason, I like syrup on my eggs. Mmm, makes them so good. 
<laughs> Lila, are your friends over? <laughs> the easiest way <laughs> to entertain. I just turned that on, but they were coloring a little bit. Lila's playing with some balloons I blew up. that I got yesterday uh, for UGC and I have a 10 left over after filming the UGC because I just needed one. Lila, I think Remy wanted the orange one. Can Remy have the orange one? Did you want the orange one, Remy? Oh man. I'm gonna go get me a Vinti pink drink from Starbucks because I already had a chai today. I don't need another chai. I just don't. So I'm gonna get a Vinti pink drink. That sounds pretty good. Or some kind of like tea. And I don't wanna like prematurely say anything, but my friend Cassie and I, we obviously have a podcast and I don't really know what is gonna happen when I move to Washington with the podcast. Like I just, it doesn't seem feasible to like film it over Zoom and stuff like that. It just doesn't seem as authentic. Like as being in person. So I don't really know what's going to happen with our podcast. If you didn't know, we have a podcast. It's called the Call You in 5 podcast. We have it here on YouTube. You can stream it on any podcasting platform that you get your podcast from. But I don't I don't know what's going to happen there. And so I'm just going to film a couple episodes like batch some episodes that we could potentially use and I don't know if I want to do that today during nap time or if I want to clean out the truck, which I should clean out the truck because the truck is so bad. Like I'm embarrassed to show you guys. It's just when you have a toddler in the car, it just food crumbs are literally everywhere. And it has been so long since I've actually gone through and scrubbed everything down. And so I know I need to do that too. Oh my goodness, you guys, the to-do list, it just never ends. It's like a lot of tedious work to be done. Also Amazon storefront, like to know, keeping up on links on Shop My. If you guys didn't know, um, I try to link all of the products I own and love in shop my so you can literally go to my shop my account and it's like a storefront where you can browse I'm trying to update it to where it has everything I have in my closet So if you guys like see something on me, you can go to my shop my click on closet and Like go to my tops and like look through my tops and try and find what I was wearing or whatever Not that I'm wearing anything like cute right now, but I want to like be more on top of that so I'm attempting to do that and also shop my offers help for like people who get a certain amount I don't know I don't know how it works but they help with linking and they've offered that to me so I think I'm gonna take them up on it more so and hopefully be better on top of my linking because I always say I'm gonna link things and you guys are like ask questions about products and stuff like that and then I never link them and I feel bad because you guys want to look at it to like I say I'm gonna link something and then I don't it's just sometimes time is very limited and kind of hard to come by with all that extra stuff aside from just like my main goal is just to be consistent on the platforms I choose to be on which is TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So it's kind of hard to add in other things. Anyways, it's a huge blessing. Like I know that being a content creator, I've been doing this for honestly, honestly like a year. I feel like it hasn't quite been a year yet because I, I started really like actually getting brand partnerships and taking it serious and and like being consistent after Lila was born. And I wanna say, I, I think it was like around December last year, not, not this recent December, but the December before, that I started, I was like, okay, I'm gonna post every single day on TikTok. And since then, I've seen like a tremendous amount of growth, but it's, I kinda went on a tangent there. It's like a huge blessing to be a content creator, work for yourself, make your own schedule, film your life, like live the life that I wanna live and document it and that be my job. Like that is mind blowing to me and a huge, incredible blessing to be able to do that. And it's huge thank you to you guys because just watching my video, like it is your time invested in my content and that allows me 
to make more and do this full time. I, I really do feel like I won the lottery. Like I'm very lucky and I know that because I am, I am a normal human. I am nothing special. And I think I'm just somebody who decided to put herself out there and film her life. And I think that's the only thing that like sets me apart from people who don't do this, to be honest. I don't think I'm anything special. But all I'm trying to say is um, I'm very thankful and I'm very blessed and I'm not trying to like complain at all about what I do. I love what I do. I literally love it. It's like my dream job. Um, I don't want to cut this person off. Hi. Um, could I get a venti pink drink with light ice? Thank you. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> um, Leela. <laughs> as soon as we went through the drive-thru, Leela in the back was like, fries. <laughs> Leela, sorry, there's no french fries here. Anyways, Leela's kick pop. And then here's my order. If you didn't hear it when I ordered it, obviously you probably did. But something about pink drinks, they're just so good. Okay, so I am doing homework right now. I have a class meeting in 10 minutes that I need to jump on, and so I'm just like answering these questions before I get on so that I'm like prepared. Leela and I are gonna go on a walk after this. Last time the meeting was only like 20 minutes because all of us just like came prepared. So I'm hoping it's like that today. I don't have all the questions answered, but I have a lot of them, so I'm hoping that what I don't have answered, other people do, and we can just like collaborate them together and then be done. And then Leela and I will go walk to the park, which will be fun. Hair and makeup is done. Here is the filming studio. We have, the mirror is kind of pointless, but it's in here, so we're using it anyways. Um, my camera's freaking out. Chair, microphone, and I need this camera to record. So we're gonna turn Leela's monitor down a little bit quieter, set up the laptop. I like to hold the microphone when I'm doing a solo episode, so I'm gonna take it off of this and just hold it. Um, here's the little fit. I'll link this fit below. I love the sets I've been finding from free people. This is like one of my favorite. I have to wear the front a little bit lower now because of the belly bump, but very comfy, very cozy, very cute. And I'll link it below. My office is chaos, as you guys know. It always is. Let's open up the curtains to let in a little more light. That's like a lot better. Let's get to recording. Also, but really quick on another note, this camera is so good just because it's so compact, so easy, so portable to use. Um, if you're like looking to get into content creation, I'll link this camera below. I have two Canon 5D Mark IVs that I love for weddings, but it's just not functional. Like I just feel like I need something compact, portable, easy to vlog with. And then also filming podcasts. I would like to set up my cameras, but it just takes too long. And so this makes it so easy and quick. And then I also have, I also have this Sony that is really good. But the problem with this one is that lens is just massive. And so it makes it less portable. That's why I just love this one because the front of it is so small and doesn't stick out. And it's like, just, it's just so much easier. Um, I have so many cameras. This is a this is a film camera. This is a good microphone too. Again, I'm gonna try to be better about linking everything. This is the Yeti or whatever. It's really good. I just like to take it off of the stand and use it like this. But the stand is awesome, and also the one that I got comes with a the little screen that like protects it from blowing out the mic. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, two, one. This is how you line up the recording. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the In My 30s podcast. I am your host, McKenna Ashcroft, and today's little intro episode is just to give you a taste on what is to come with this podcast. I'm so excited to be launching this podcast because this past year I recently turned 30, which is insane. Okay, so here we go. All recorded, all set up audio and video and I just got to add like the intro and the outro and then we can export it and upload it but I'm not going to do that right now okay there we go let's go 
let's see. Yes, there we go. Oh, yeah, it said, it just notified me you logged in on my page. Okay, I was thinking I was, like, in the wrong account. Okay. Okay, that's all? That's all you need? Okay. <laughs> Look who's awake. I tried to give you an eggy. Should we try again? I tried to give her a hard-boiled egg, and she threw it. <laughs> so, you want to try again? <laughs> <laughs> a few Poshmark items to ship out. I sold these because I've literally never worn, worn them. This one's cream. This one's like a navy blue. And ironically, they both sold today. Two more packages to go to the post office at some point. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe. I just launched a second podcast, which is crazy, but this it's gonna be on my YouTube channel um, in my 30s. So check that out if you haven't seen it. If you're subscribed here, you've probably seen it. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok, McKenna H. Oshcroft, and I'll see you next time.